Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's match of CEA Siege. Today we have a match on the Open League side of things. I am, of course, Keldav, here tonight with the lovely Kevin. Hello, hello, hello. How's and it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we will have the match of Stony Brook uh, University's B team versus University of Kentucky's A team. How are you yeah. feeling today about today's match, Kevin? Um... Not going to lie, I'm a little bit worried about uh, Stony Brook, but I feel like, you know, friendship will bring us together, will bring Stony Brook together, and I've seen the impossible happen sometimes. Not saying that this is impossible, I I've seen lots of things happen. I've seen 1v5 clutches, I've seen it all, really. So, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still ready for a good game. I don't know, are you? Yeah, definitely. You could never really count out a team in particular as... A lot of people will love to just pull a out of nowhere upset, and it's always fun to watch. And personally, it's one of the things that makes open hell of a lot of fun to watch overall. For sure, and yeah. People people are willing to try lots of crazy stuff just because they're like, well, well, gotta gotta do crazy stuff to win sometimes, you know. You know, and then like, I feel like open is where you see that happen more often. It's like you know, because uh, especially because for the first map we'll be going to clubhouse. Who knows? We might be able to see the. You know what? On cash wall. Generally speaking, we want to reinforce this, but what if we but just what blew if? it open <laughs> and then just bounced to chunk a turret? But what if? <laughs> you know, like, who knows? Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Maybe we'll just put a mirror window on it soft and then yeah. blow everything above, above it. It's and easy. then just start blasting. <laughs> just start blasting. All right. Oh, yeah. What are some good players on this team? Uh, on both teams, really, because I I see some nice nice uh, usernames that I recognize as well. Yeah, on the side of Kentucky, there is some pretty good players in particular here, and it looks like today they'll be bringing Overlord, Ixalid, Ghost Wraith, Bullman, and Giuseppe. Now, out of okay. these players, I do see that Giuseppe actually has a two point three one KD. Oh my that god! Is actually, pretty high to maintain at this point in the league. Yeah, <sighs> he's a he's a monster. I'm gonna be looking out for him for sure. Oh yeah, um, and not to count out the rest of their players as well, as we do still have Overlord as well, 1.29, and uh, Ghost Wraith with 1.26. A lot of really strong uh, fraggers on the side of Kentucky. Yeah, for sure. They're still, they, um, University of Kentucky are number one in their own division, um, leading with 15 points, but only barely ahead of, uh, of their competitors like Humber College and Ohio State that have 14 and 13 points. So this group is still a toss-up. And so I would say um, this game is still very important for University of Kentucky to to win and get those points. Yep. And all on the side of Stony Brook B team, we will be bringing Atomic Nut, uh, Casual Villain, uh, Dainty Almond, and... Thick boy and <laughs> AV006 Starling. And we'll just call you know, him Starling. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Dainty Almond, definitely a player that seems to be, you know, shining, shining above his, uh, within this team, as he does have himself a 1.25 KD as well. Definitely showing some strong firepower from uh, his side of the team. And hopefully we'll be able to see that reflect into this match. Yeah, for sure. It's almost interesting that how Dainty Almond is a sub and not a main main player, but he still has like a really nice KD to, to show off as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, no. I'm getting word now that he's actually a main player, not a sub. So he's great for a main player. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Everything's all backwards. Everyone's <laughs> out. So you know what? It's actually a pretty smart strat. No one can really feel attached to being a main player if they're all listed as subs, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Who needs to light fire underneath people's butts? Well, we could just call everyone a sub, and then at that point, you could be replaced. At any point. Everyone's a winner. Oh, Stony exactly. Brewike. 
Oh, God. <laughs> uh, that is Stony Brook with a double O, no I. Um, University versus University of Kentucky. And we're going to go straight into Clubhouse. Um, what do you feel about Clubhouse as a map? Is Clubhouse? it defender sighted? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like okay. all maps? Here we go. So, Clubhouse <laughs> is an attacker. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's oh. a defender sighted map, of course. After I the see. changes, uh, definitely got a lot nicer to play on overall, in my opinion. And now, of course, as you've been seeing throughout the season, Cash Room and Basement, just the two really strong defense points. And not to even count out Gym Bedroom, because honestly, looking at the setups I've seen from Gym Bedroom, I would actually argue that it's actually probably one of the nicer sites to hold, considering you could just lock off so many parts of that map from just holding the long angles from all the way from Cash Room. Right, for sure. There's a lot of really good ops. Um, definitely defender sided. People, their teams have been doing a lot of good stuff. Oh, we see a Capital ban coming out. Also a really good operator ban. Um, we do see Capital bolts being used super effectively to take uh, basement. Uh, we see um, really good Capital bolts to stop um, bandit tricking on on cash wall, or, um, CCTV wall. I, I mean, and so. Getting that capital out of the game is also very, very good for uh, Kentucky. Oh, sorry, for Stony Brook here as well, who are starting on the attack. So I guess they're saying we don't need them. Yeah, and looks like we're seeing Kaid ban here as uh, that operator actually makes tricking the cash wall a lot more safer as you don't have to be right up on the wall. And, but even though he's banned, they still did ban the capital. So, you know, they're going to keep it a little bit safe as capital is one of those just absolute monsters in terms of utility. Once you understand and learn how to use his utility to the fullest extent, he's mm -hmm. probably one of the most busted operators in this game. Yep. Um, especially with the with people figuring out that you can do one-way smokes with Capital uh, on top of doorways, and uh, you can't even crouch through that as a defender without getting fully blinded by that smoke. Oh, there's right. a lot of re really interesting things Capital can do, and only <laughs> Capital the can do. That's the one thing you gotta love about Siege. The fact that that was probably in the game since the start, and yep. people don't really highlight it until now, and now it's starting to get a little bit, you know, seeing a lot more use out of uh, <laughs> recent times, so... The, the devs are just like, it. oh god, they're figuring things out now. We've been had! <laughs> Ooh. And we're also gonna be seeing the Echo being brought in today. An operator that I feel like we're also contractually obligated to say is banned for mm. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's true oh we do see um dainty going on ash instead of thermite that's gonna be maverick gonna be the only um hard breach on the side of stony brook here Defending but wow um from kentucky we see a ton of intel operators um intel denial as well as intel from mozzie but they also have two evil eyes and two yokai's which are gonna be taking so much utility actually from stony brook in order to clear out oh yeah and this is going to be definitely a hard hold without the use of capital, or sorry, hard attack and without the use of capital. Since that Jaeger ADS right there on that window is going to stop a lot of the grenades coming in on that bandit, keeping them that much safer as well. And yeah, capital, since he had no, uh, in this current rule set, he has no real, you know, right. counter. So he, he would just go free and oh, well, he's definitely oh, a wait. good operator to ban. For this they can't battle. play Wumai yet. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that's a cap attack counter. All right, we do see the the garage get fully reinforced. I'm guessing Kentucky is looking to play and hold garage rafters. There is a yokai inside construction, so they're going to be having a lockdown regardless of information there. And look at Giuseppe just boarding things up in the basement. Probably going to be holding it from basement, moving things around, going from main stairs all the way back to blue stairs, making it harder for uh, Johnny Brook to attack here. I am. Giuseppe just waiting down there at the very bottom. Gonna take whatever intel he can get to know exactly how to set himself up. It looks like we're gonna have Ghost Ray sitting here on the staircase as Ooh. the drones are starting to come out from the side of Stony Brook. And it looks as like they're trying to push into the side of uh, Bedroom first. Yeah, this is good. He does freak out the, the Zofia by making it his presence known by shooting the drone, but he's already completely all the way in the bar, not even where he was originally. We do see the double line uh, strategy coming out for Maverick here in order to open up that left side wall. But he's going to be using up a lot of his um, utility here. He does get taken down to about half HP by Overlord here. 
Ooh, and right from below, we got the buck from Atomic Nut. Oh, I just realized Ash is already down from Dainty Almond as well. And it looks like they're going to be trying to just make things a little bit safer for that Maverick. Doesn't have to worry about getting electrocuted on the wall as he's doing things. Juicep, you're going to get Ooh. word that there's people below. Along with oh, Ghost Ray, he's going to go in for the flink. Gets the shot on to Thick Boy. And now he's going to be able to play a little bit more safer as he still does as his teammate. Getting himself into position here. And it looks wow, like they yeah. will get the second battery there as well. That's the Roamers from Kentucky coming in super clutch here. They're going to be able, even able to pick up Bandit here. Casual Villain finding the kill onto Overlord as he does not get picked up. It's still a 2v4. Everyone's at full HP on Kentucky's side. And they just have to hold this down. Oh, yeah. And as you see here, he's just sitting here chilling on the staircase, waiting to hear some more from his teammates. Sterling going to take down Ghost Ray. Bullman taking down Casual Villain. He's going to try walking into the lounge area. Little does he know, Jaeger's still sitting right there, looking straight up at the ceiling. Will he get caught out? <laughs> Maybe we'll see. Oh, as he's going to be pushing upstairs, patience. Barbed Wire going to give out his positioning. And now he's going to be pushing up completely nice. unknown that Giuseppe is ready to strike. Wow. What a fantastic round coming up from Giuseppe here. Just really making full use of the map, making sure to just uh, be everywhere and nowhere at once, which is, I feel like, the ideal roamer's job, just constantly being the thorn in the side of Stony, uh, Stony Brook, making sure that they can get the refrags as well, um, even trying to go for that uh, teammate pickup, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Oh, yeah. But wow, yeah, solid round coming out from uh, Tucky here. And Giuseppe as well, you could tell he knew exactly that the barbed wire was still alive. As he just sat there waiting for the sounds, you could hear, you could see the Maverick on the other side of the wall just moving around freely. He's not really deciding to peek in. He waited all the way for the point for that barbed wire to get destroyed because he knew at that point that the Maverick would think that, you know, give himself that nice false sense of security and he would be perfect to take him down without any problems. Really good, well played on the side of Giuseppe there. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like Stony Brook was doing all the things correctly. They were getting that Maverick uh, double line going. They did buck and Zofia underneath the bandit, so they had to stop tricking. Um, it's just that they did lose that on some of these crucial gunfights that they need to bring back in order to make sure that they can stay on top of the round. But now we're going to go back down to the basement where Stony Brook is going to have probably even a harder time taking it. Oh yeah, and now I can see here we get the nice decent reinforcement sound here. Now, basement has always had a bit of a bigger variety of how people hold it. As you can see, we have a vigil coming out, so I'm going to suspect to probably have one hard roamer this time. Whereas a lot of teams over the past year have just been running sometimes five anchor, as that's a site that honestly, even with five anchor, everyone's holding a different angle and no one's really doubling up on anything. In particular, so it, it's gonna be a little bit interesting to see, to see how the roam comes into play here from Ghost Wraith. Yeah, um, he he even does have a uh, Giuseppe up there as well, helping him out. Um, I feel like it is really nice to have double roamers, just making sure that they can refrag for each other. Um, giving a oh, it's actually Overlord. My bad, not Giuseppe. Um, yeah, we even made him a rotate. That's really nice, actually. <laughs> just making sure that. Oh, does Giuseppe finds the first kill onto Dainty Almond through his own Ash hole. Uh, <laughs> and that's going to be um, first person going down. Barely sees the head. Does oh find the head goodness. of Ghost Wraith. But I don't think they know that there's another one off on the rafters over there. They yeah, are going Ghost on drums. Ghost Wraith getting hit instead of Giuseppe. Kind of gives Giuseppe a little bit of advantage here. You may not know he's still up here, but it looks like they will be droning as he pushes. Oh, no. But not paying attention to above. Giuseppe will get the Oh, headshot. but he jumps down. Oh, wait. Is he going to get himself caught out? Looks like he's going to jump himself right into Oil Pit in time and get himself away from the crosshairs of Starling nice. and keep himself safe for another day. Good. Yet again, a really good play from Giuseppe. Starting off the round with two kills. They do see yeah, dirt being blown up. open. Um, but there's really nothing they could do about it as long as Overlord is holding this. There's Yokai's around. There's really no way. Starling looking to make his way down blue stairs, but there's a Yokai. Gotta spot him out real fast. Looking on the ground for the Yokai, but gets baited out as Echo finds the headshot into Starling there. That's gonna make it a 2v4 for Stony Brook. Yeah, it looks like the as soon as the Echo drone caught him out, he immediately just jumped to the ceiling, didn't even try to concuss us, immediately went for the peak and took him down. Really well played from Ixalid, <laughs> trying to just uh, go aggro before he had a, you know, a little bit of opportunity to try to react. Oh. Especially kind of using the drone as bait. Gonna be throwing a grenade at the top part here of 
dirt. I'm not too sure not exactly, exactly what you would be aiming for. Uh, uh so you tried either... to... Yeah, the barricade was probably the target there, trying to open yeah. destroy either it. Either that, or maybe the yokai, even. If he thought he was getting spotted by a yokai nearby. I don't think you could get the yokai that deep in dirt and onto the ceiling, since it's a bumpy ceiling gun, however, but... Looks like he's yeah. gonna be going for the peak here, Ooh. and down he goes as Overlord peeks him right back. With the SMG-11, taking him down with a nice mm. shot. As now it's just down to casual villain. Gonna be playing oil pig here, oh. making a little bit of noise as he drops. His position will definitely be noted. You can see the entire team starting to rotate up. Looks like, ooh, got concussed from another concussion at the same time. Flank coming in from GSFD. Looks like he's gonna hold oh, the side he's gonna angle. Oh, he's Ooh, looks like, oh my goodness, ooh. down one goes. He gets the headshot on the Overlord. Pushes up down the hall. Sees the deployment uh. shield, but cannot take down Ixlid with the Echo. Headshot and finishing the round for Kentucky. Yeah, again, a really solid round coming out from a... Uh... In Kentucky here, just making sure that they can't even get onto sites without getting shot down. Yeah, Kentucky doing a really good job of just shutting down a lot of the advances that Stony Brook is trying here. And it's working very well for them. Oh my goodness, the second band wave of tonight comes out. And oh, ooh, God. Kevin himself got banned. Yeah, wait, I've played with that guy before. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, not on my team. I just like played against him once. Anyway. <laughs> free low, yeah, yeah free low. <laughs> Hopefully I get some Elo back. I don't know. Um, yeah, wow. So really, really strong round coming out from uh, Kentucky there. But they're going to be put to the test here as they are going to gym, which is definitely a less favored site than Basement and CCTV Cash. Uh, like you've said, people have been doing some really cool uh, things with long angles coming all the way down from Cash along all the windows on that side of the uh, on the wall looking out from bedroom and, and gym. But it doesn't look like they might be doing that as as they have no ACOGs on the side of Kentucky. Attack but they could also just be holding it with uh, with a hollow or a re reflex. What do I know? Yeah. I mean, you never know. Some of them might be doing the hidden tech of taking the magnifying glass and duct taping to the Ooh. monitor. So every scope is an ACOG. But ah. I mean, like generally, yeah, it's more preferable to do this in ACOG. So it's a lot more clear vision. But if you're used to one access to a you know, high degree, you could definitely still pull it off. Especially if right. you, you know, do the good old-fashioned uh, shove your face close to the monitor trick as well. Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't need ACOG. Just get your grandpa's reading glasses, and it just <laughs> works. That's how, that's how it works. It's a little pixelated, but eh. Yeah, it looks like from the holes they're making and the setups they're putting in cash room, looks like they might be setting up for it a little bit, assuming that they have to jump onto oh, the desk to see yeah. it. They're going to jump onto the cash desk that's uh, very east side. Um, but from there, you should be able to get a look through all of the uh, the windows over there, all the way into gym, which is which is a really really nice sightline. Castle with new super shorty this update or the last update will make him really really good in regards to destructibility. Um, so much so that he opted to bring a bulletproof camera rather than an impact grenade. Oh yeah, let me just see how that makes things into play here, and. Looks like they're going to be going, for, uh, focusing more on the side of oh, the smiley face. Ah, uh, yes, the classic smiley face. Let them know Ooh. that you have presence off the bat. Grenade going through. Ghost Wraith getting a headshot onto Thick Boy. And it looks like he's going to be playing around the side of bathroom Ooh. strip club. Another one come, uh, sitting there waiting. Oh my and watching god. The angle. Will he detect him as he's going to go for the crouch? Nice. Into this rising crouch right there. Getting casual villain. That's two down for Ghost Wraith off the bat. Really strong start for Kentucky already. Yeah, what a great pre-fire there, just having really good game sense, as well as just using all of his ears, all of the sound. Oh, you see the double... Oh, <laughs> nearly took the out nade fell a little bit short, yeah. But we're going to see the Maverick 2 line coming out soon. He does hear the C4, but it's not going to really be able to do anything. Oh, oh my god! Right oh. over the crack, Jesus, that's an angle. Oh. Actually, that was... Kind of some big brain stuff. He pulled off the battery so you could put on the, uh, <laughs> sorry, the nitro cell onto the little crack there and see if he could get anyone trying to burn at that second. Couldn't catch anyone and I'll nearly kind oh of made the thermite to get uh, tricked as well in that little bit. Looks like they will get the wall open as they burn the top and bottom half. Unable to get rid of the charge just as yet, so the entire wall looks like it's still uh, getting electrocuted due to the way that the reinforcements work in this game and electrocution. But mm. definitely should be able to get it up, down in about two seconds afterwards. 
Right. As long as you shoot the battery, it should be perfectly fine. There is no Kaid on the side of Kentucky. Ooh, Atomic Nut does a Ghost Wraith. Finding the third, his third kill of the game um, does take down... Uh, who was that? Uh, Atomic oh Nuts. But yeah, wow. Starling getting the kill onto Overlord. I believe that is the, uh, the refrag there. And Starling... Manage, or Overload, sorry, took down the sledge after he hammered the wall, kind of because of the way that the wall is destroyed. Didn't exactly get the whole thing open. I don't think and the drone's going to be able to go through. Yeah, he's not going to be able to go through. It, I think he fall. may have actually just hit like a small part on the right so that it ended up uh, kind of just breaking only half the I'm not too sure there exactly. Yeah, there's no way he's getting through that wall. Yeah, the, unfortunately... Oh God. Sludge, not the best destructibility for this, uh, would have to shotgun it in order for it to get open properly and then get vaulted through. Yeah, oh, I think yeah, the Sludge just hit like through. a small part of the wall just because it's, you, you can look at the debris and see how it's so like messed up. You got like parts on the bottom right, parts on the top left. It may have just hit like a small part and Sludge's hammer, not the loveliest of tools in that situation. Yeah, what a, what a weird way. <laughs> To end the round there. Just the wall isn't open even though they two lined it with Maverick. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Looks like we will be heading back into CCTV cash room as well. With the echo in place still. But mm -hmm. doing a pretty good job at uh using those drones and keeping them for information as he throughout the round just been moving it around, helping out the roamers, try to figure out uh, you know, a little bit more intel as Although a lot of Echoes will keep their drones kind of ice, uh, isolated and into one spot. Mm -hmm. That way, keep them alive more than likely. You know, there's right. players like right here, like IQ being thought by Fickboy that will just uh, kind of snipe them out from above if he can. So keeping them mobile, not really the worst idea right here, is uh, gets a lot of information with it. Right. We haven't even seen some like good yokai bursts, but we've just seen like just how influential good intel placement from Kentucky is really shaping how they play their game, how it's making it so much easier for Ghost Wraith and and uh, uh, Giuseppe to go and rotate. Oh, another nice little smiley coming up from Overlord here. It's a little smirk as well. Ooh, Ooh getting a little I cheeky like here as he's getting as he's uh, taking his momentum in. He already has two kills on his bet with three assists. That's not a bad scoreline at three rounds in. She's a three assists. That's a lot of kill participation if you add that on. Yep, no. That's that's looking really good. I feel like this Kentucky uh, is just making roaming for uh, roaming for the roamers just so much easier using all of their gadgets and utility that it's just really highlighting um, the good gunplay coming out from from their. Uh, Rummers from Giuseppe, from Ghost Wraith, from Elixid as well. Yeah, and they've been playing pretty patient too. You can see, like before Giuseppe, just waiting on the staircase, waiting for, uh, you know, very clear telltale sign that they're there, rather than just aggressively peeking and, you know, kind of putting themselves at risk here. Really working out for them really well against Stony Brook here, who, you know, not really doing uh, quite, like, they're doing pretty decently per round basis, where they could at least mm -hmm. get, like, a good amount of set, uh, footsteps in. Like, for example, the Maverick play coming from them. They've been doing a pretty good job of getting the wall open. The Maverick, almost every single time, does get the two line off, as sometimes some people do mess it up. You can tell he definitely does practice it Oof. quite well. So definitely some potential for a comeback here. As Casual Villain going to be entering by himself on the side of oh. Toilets here. Overlord is in the kitchen here. I think he does hear him. Ghost Ray does find the kill onto Dainty Almond uh, with a headshot there. Taking down the Sledge. Not super, super crucial. Still a man down for Donnybrook, Bruy. Actually, because the sludge is gone, he, they were using him for the soft reach after the two line, so it might be a little bit more difficult for them Ooh. to open up the wall after the two line goes off, as there is still that soft debris there. And generally speaking, yeah, you could use the Sophia, but Sophia is all the way in logistics. You might not be able to get anything going, and it looks like he's already pinched. We got Ghost Wraith sitting below the hatch, getting ready to get that angle uh, getting mm. going. We got another one sitting in the hall, so if he tries to retreat, he's done for. At yeah. this point, Casual Villain caught himself in a pinch. He will get Overlord sitting on the staircase and get himself to Master Bedroom, giving himself a little bit more breathing room, but looks like up comes Ghost Wraith coming up the staircase as, it's his, as he's going to take his turn to uh, take a swing. Yeah. yeah I, I was going to say Overlord is hunting um, Casual Villain, but looks like he was the hunted as uh, he just turns around and finds a 180. Lixid finding the headshot into Atomic Nut. That's going to be Maverick going down. That's a huge kill. Coming up from Kentucky's side. 
And oh, what a good angle coming out from Elixid. Um, oh, actually, no, that was just from Cash. I thought it was a little hole that they made from uh, from Jim there. Look at this. Pick boy, you're gonna a little bit in trouble as you got uh, Ghost Wraith peeking up behind him. He will oh. run up and get the shot and get the other shot on the head as he peeks over. Really showing off the power of the angle grip there and why people love it. You see her just run immediately, sprint, and then aim down sights. Look oh. how fast that was. Catches what a both shot. of them so quickly. Really well played from Ghost What Wraith. a headshot. I, I barely saw that too. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like we're just getting back to back to back. Um, really good examples of what makes Giuseppe and Ghost Wraith such good roamers, right? Yeah, they're doing really well to time themselves, and you can see there before, they had a little bit of a pinch going on to Zofia. Unfortunately, just lost the gunfight as uh, he was holding from the staircase side. Ooh, just clap. doing a really good job at, you know, keeping things calm and steady and not really getting over-aggressive or, you know, uh, sticking their head out where it doesn't belong in this situation. We're going to be seeing the Clash getting picked, and doesn't look like there's six picking off of it either. Hopefully, we can see mm -hmm. some good Clash players. I'm actually kind of curious to see where she'll end up playing, because I do know some people usually sit it at, like, the bottom of main stairs area and then, like, hold that entire long haul with it. But we Yeah, it makes it, it makes it so much harder to just run into Moto from main stairs if there's someone actively slowing you down. So, oh, yeah. I feel like that's something that they can definitely do. Another really good place for Clash to hold is just in utility or blue, uh, making sure that they can't rush you there and just have someone um, playing around the utility boxes. Makes it just a really good one-two combo. Yeah, I have to a little question a little bit though, because at the same time, uh, while that hold is good and great, no I music. really <laughs> saw Stony Brook like end up pushing there as i do believe rome did take them down early so you know maybe they might be able to pull it off now after making some adjustments but i'm not too sure if that was really uh necessarily the like required swap but you know maybe i'm gonna be a proven wrong here and it might be they might actually pull out an even nastier setup that i may not know of yeah who knows maybe <laughs> maybe we're gonna see some insane clash play that i have never not seen yet because the only person that can really just um, that could really counter uh, Clash on the side of Sunnybrook is, is really just casual villain. Uh, maybe a really nice nade coming out from um, Atomic Nut or Dainty Almond might help. Uh, but for like actual direct counters for Clash, it's really just down to casual villain on Zofia here. Oh, yeah. And it looks like we're already getting some intel going out as both the roamers kind of playing spread apart from each other, covering a lot of the map distances they can. Jackal being brought out here from Thick Boy. Oh. Be, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he actually went down to the nitro cell that he just whipped out the ceiling or out the window. Sorry. Unfortunately, doesn't know that he downed the Jackal due to the Pro League settings. But, yeah, however, no that's such a big pick because after this point, too, his entire team is going to be very, very careful trying to go pick him up or even if they even try to go for it as well. Yeah, Yokai is coming out to uh, support the roamers up here. And only now is Starling going to start picking up. Oh, never mind. Actually, right as he picks up Thick Boy, he's going to get shot down immediately in the head. But it was good to pick up Thick Boy there. Oh, go too soon as Casual Villain gets taken down. And it's going to be down 3v5 here. They're going to be opening up Dirt, getting control of Garage. But it's still going to be held down so hard. We do see the Clash just walking back and forth, holding down either Blue or... Um, or all the way down into main stairs. And right there, I think I already see where the Clash is already proving me wrong. He's just playing inside of Armory here, holding off the guy in dirt, where last time this Maverick created a little bit of a stir on his uh, hold. And they see here, are you making him use his grenades, trying to blow out the uh, Clash? That's really good on the side of Kentucky, getting him to use up his right grenades. And oh my goodness, shots going across. Thick Boy getting damaged up, Clash Shield's getting aggroed on, but it looks like he's still surviving just fine. Dainty gonna be pushing down Oil Pit, into the hands of Ixalit and Ghost Wraith, both sitting down here and hiding themselves pretty well, as the Atomic Nut just getting absolutely pressured by this Clash, unable to do too much, gonna go for a grenade here, does not get a single lick of damage onto him, mm. he's gonna be in the fight of his life as he's slowly getting shocked to death, he's just gonna opt to uh, take a different fight and just immediately ev evacuate. Right, oh, it's down to 30 seconds here, and it's not looking so good for Stonybrook, Atomic Nut, 
making the decision to come out of Jersey and support his friends inside kitchen while Dainty Almond holds the angle down. Thick Boy finally dropping down into oil pit. He's just gonna run up. Oh my goodness. I, I can't believe he's still not dead. He's Attack at one HP. There we go. Elixir finds the kill into Thick Boy. And there we go. Giuseppe finds the kill into Atomic Nut and it's gonna be all down to Dainty Almond who gets taken down by the Ghost Wraith. Baited out by the Clash, was putting his gun away, and that's gonna be a flawless round coming up from Kentucky. Ghost Ray, such a fitting name as he just gets the nice flank here. Merely drops down and shoots them both out before, uh, unfortunately, the last member of Stony Brook was able to realize. Kentucky up on a 5 0 lead, looking really strong on this map, as I do believe this was uh, Stony Brook's map pick as well. So, really good on them to already be taking this bit of a lead onto the other side of the map, onto the team's map, sorry. Yeah, for sure. Oh, we do see Goyo coming out um, as well as Clash. So I feel like the longer we go into this game, we're just getting more and more wild with the op choices. People are more willing to uh, spread out. Oh, we do see a potential six pick coming from Overlord off of Clash. Well, it looks like we'll be bringing the bandit going to be protecting that wall, making sure that Stunny Broke isn't able to get it open as easy. As last time, that bandit Defenders pretty much kind of made the, like a good difference between uh, a victory and a loss. As even though they did open up the wall, it was still electrified, so they couldn't really like really touch it that much. And even if they could, they unfortunately just messed up the destruction a little bit. So stopped them from entering that way as well. So in the end, that bandit actually did quite a bit of work and definitely pr a pretty good six pick. Yeah, for sure. I feel like Goyo is also an operator that can do really, really well um, on this side as well. There's so many nice sight lines um, that you can make in extra uh, because you can't. There's not a lot of really good um, angles that you can hold from uh, from gym from from master bedroom because once the windows are open, once the main wall, the west wall is open, it's just so hard to find the footing onto the site. But maybe um, those Goyo shields will make it a little bit easier for, for uh, Kentucky to hold these angles. And we'll hopefully see some adjustments from Stony Brook as well. It looks like they did opt to bring the buck instead of the sledge just to make sure the destruction works properly on that wall. Also opting to bring both Actually, there is no Maverick this time. It looks like they're just going to be taking for, uh, looks like, uh, Warehouse, or sorry, oh, Cash Room no. here. But Ghost Wraith just oh. playing Super Aggro. Going to catch them as they open the wall, then start to drone. And that's Ghost a little Wraith. bit of a mistake. They're leaving themselves so wide open. And Ghost Wraith is going to capitalize on it. Really well played from the side of Kentucky. Wow, look at that game sense. Just, oh, I know what they're doing. They're, they're droning out here. Wide peaks the angle, does find the guy in drones. Ooh, it looks like there's gonna be a little trade refrag going off as Ghost Ray does find Thick Boy. First Goyo Shield going down. Um, and that's gonna be Overlord. Oh no. Oh, oh he doesn't hear the C4, but uh, that was enough time for him to pull away. Oh my god, <laughs> those were different team members. Wait, Ace? Ghost Wraith does the ace and does find all five people on Stony Brook and wins round number six for Kentucky. Oh my god. Ghost Wraith living to Zane, keeping himself just absolutely silent running around the map took out two in cash room i'm not sure, quite sure where the third happened but the last two as you can see there as he just goes in for the flank catches them both trying to rotate off getting himself a nice secured ace he's definitely going to be feeling himself after that one. Oh yeah feeling himself nice <laughs> but okay, now not what I meant. <laughs> uh, uh, we do finally get to see um cctv uh, what am I saying? Now, we're, we're going to see the side switch. Um, Stony Brook is going to go on defense now. Um, and so, hopefully, we can see Stony Brook bring it back on this defender side of the map. <laughs> Just look at that scoreboard. We already got Ghost Ray 15 into absolute dominance from his side here. As well, as you can see, as the other teammates, definitely no slouch. Overlord may have this, uh, not as many kills as his partners, but six assists is quite insane on especially at this point in the game as well. He's Attack definitely showing up a lot. They can. Oh, yeah, and definitely the fact that a lot wow. of them, no Look deaths. That. Yeah, Giuseppe, Elixid, Bullman, all still on zero deaths. Ghost Wraith already at 15 kills after six rounds. Oh my God, that's a 2.5 kill per round. That's actually insane. I wish I could be that. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Kevin, one day. <laughs> one day, I cry. <laughs> One day, as soon as you stop getting baited and uh... <laughs> oh god, no! Oh, don't don't tell my captain. What? Uh, I didn't say anything. No, what are you talking about? Your 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 whole body is the drone, Kevin. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just I was Iana before Iana was cool. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who needs who needs a Iana clone? Just just send Kevin in. That's all you do. <laughs> That's yeah. It, it either works or it doesn't. <laughs> either it's way, it's a 50-50. Either way, it wouldn't be your KD getting uh, uh, harmed, it would be Kevin's. Problem solved. Ah, ah, yes. Indeed. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Kentucky's attack round here, as this is now at their point where they're a little bit more of the disadvantage, according okay. to, uh, you know, every single map of this game. I'm Where's actually just for? curious why they don't just at this point, you know, let's make more busted attack operators just to... You know, make things a little bit more balanced inside of attackers. Where's Lion 2? Ooh, that's so close. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they didn't get pested there. Oh, he does find one. Ghost Wraith finding the kill on the casual villain who's looking the wrong way. Oh my goodness, he's that's just running he in. He's just running in. This is already West Control here. Does he find Oh, oh my god. He does find the headshot he's of the inside. Yaman. He's in sight. He's straight up in sight. <laughs> does find the third. That's the third head. That's the fourth head. <laughs> Atomic not going down, it's all down to Thick Boy, who's coming from the back. They looks like they do have intel on this, as they are watching from behind. Is this the double ace? Oh, oh no. Oh, not the double ace. Oh, it was the double oh, ace. It was the double ace. Oh my god. The double ace. It just kind of got uh, kinda overclouded by the fact that it was also a flawless round here. The ghost Wraith getting droned in, and he just started popping off here. Like I said before, that last ace definitely gave him a lot of momentum. He just ran in there undetected like a ghost and took them all out. Yeah, actually living up to his name. 20 he's kills. A ghost. He's a wraith. He's insane. That's what it is. 20 and 2. That's an insane record for the first map here. And seven, at this point... Seven rounds. Yeah, we're, uh, at this point here, Stony Brook gonna be uh, kind of at the point where they're gonna have to really take this time and really think on how they're gonna be able to come back from that as I do believe the next map will be Cafe, and uh, Kentucky will be the first ones to attack. So that is, uh, that would be Stony Brook's time to definitely shine and be able to pull this back for them and get themselves some more rounds. As Cafe, super defender sided, as there's just so much strategies and things that you could do to kind of cause the, the attackers to spend so much time and stall them out for the entire thing. As yeah. we've been seeing over time, like just, for example, Mutant Mozzie. Together, those ones just stop all in, uh, all the flow of information yeah. and just completely stop them. So, looks like we're probably going to go straight back into Cafe. Like you said, um, Cafe being... I feel like the curse of Cafe is um, spending two, two and a half minutes to droning everything out. And then finally being like, ah, screw it. We're just going to take sight in the last 30 seconds. And then things start falling apart for a lot of attacking teams there if they're not completely on top of their game there. So I feel like, uh, who's going on attack here? Um, it looks like, oh yeah, Kentucky starting on attack. Definitely a really, really strong team. I feel like we won't see a lot of that problem, pro those problems there. But maybe Stony Brook might be able to bring this around for their... Uh, for their potential win here, maybe make it a tie? Yeah, this is definitely the time to do so, as Cafe, like I said before, and of course everyone said in the past, definitely defender sided. This is the part where you, pretty much the meta of this map has just become, take as many defense rounds as you possibly can, and then just survive on attack long enough to pull off that win. And they're going to be able to get themselves in the advantage as it's going to be uh, you know, get them with the early lead, rather than having to crawl their way back up as a usual. Looks like Stony Brook gonna Ooh. bend the buck, take him away mm. from good old uh, Ghost Ray here as he just went that's completely dominant. Yeah, that's a really good band, just given how uh, how vertical the entire map of Cafe is. Um, there are some insane angles. You can get in an angle from third floor all the way down to first floor prep room into kitchen. And it's just like, oh my god, how do you even think of these things? I am a <laughs> one-dimensional brain. Like, <laughs> I just, I see and I shoot. I don't even think on a two-dimensional plane. Like, but these guys, some of these teams are really just stepping it up and creativity on vertical play.
Oh, yeah. And we'll be seeing the Thatcher ban, of course, slowing down the attack. Going to be a good operator for mm. uh, to ban if you, onto any team that may not have the most strategies to get rid of anything like anti-intelligence uh, or anti-breach. And, ooh, looks like we get the Kaid as the last ban. Going to stop anyone from being able to reinforce... Uh, Sorry, electrocute off hatches and give them a little bit less anti breach power. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we're going to see the first uh, couple. Oh, we see a Kali. I don't think that's legal yet. Right? Correct me if yeah, I'm not, wrong. Yeah, not legal okay, cool. yet. It's a playoff yeah. thing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing. But we do see a lot of trap operators coming out, like Legion, Ella. Definitely really good, uh, strong operator choices if they're going to be holding down these close quarters angles and making it really hard for um, Kentucky to push without that Thatcher. Oh, yeah. And oh, I already like the setup from the defense here. Ella, just a really good operator to cut off small rooms. Honestly, she's probably one of the best operators to bring in a close quarters combat anywhere because. That SMG will just throw the bullets at you. The, that thing has such a high fire rate and so much bullets that just dump down at people that you could honestly blitz people down pretty quickly. Not only that, but the shotgun, even no matter how many nerfs you give it, it's all auto shotgun in the end. It's going to take down as many people as it can in position, <laughs> especially complemented by the concussion mines. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, oh no. Looks like a casual villain was accidentally shot. <laughs> they have to oh, use no. one, one of the dock stims, but hey, 80 HP, two dock stims, still pretty good. That's why I play him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that operator on his own is just an absolute unit. We'll take down an entire team by himself and two, and all the sims that he can possibly pump himself up with. Ten seconds remaining. You know, oh, yeah. per that, performance that, enhancing drugs. Oh, yeah. And the best part about the operator, too, is like, even if you think, okay, maybe you could just target ban him off because, you know. All that power, but then you got operator like Rook, which honestly, probably just as good. You got impact grenades, uh, just a compliment, and you got the Ooh. blessed Rook armor that will just bless you on every single shot you make. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, God, everyone bless. Just all hail the Rook <laughs> armor. <laughs> Let's start a religion. It's called Rook. Yes, the oh, Church I of Rook. I don't know if that air jab is going to go off. It seems to be all the way at the bottom. Catch as they fall, but not. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't as they... It's it, oh, it's only. Yeah, it's it's only for the uh, for that one window. I actually, I don't think it would get the other window. Um, on north side. Located by attackers. And, and it looks like they will be sitting onto the window as well. Gonna be using kind of the bit of the confidence they have from that Nomad Jammer that's put up there to just oh, sit there goodness. and freely peek the windows. Looks like they'll be going for aggressive window take here. Yeah, look at that aggressive cigar hold by Doc here. Looks like they're gonna be thinking about dropping new hatch, which is usually a really risky maneuver. C4s, um, cams just spotting them. It's really, really hard. Yeah, I'm a little surprised not the other plane that uh, corner is. It's one of those areas you could just use concussion mines to kind of like give yourself the intel and kind of pace out the attackers as they try to push you. Looks like they will spot them out here though. A hug in hand. Ghost Wraith is going to take him down immediately shortly after the thing's gone. Ghost Wraith taking a second one. He's not stopping after the last map. He's ready to go. He's just gunning in with that Sophia. You know what? You take away my buff. It's fine. I'll do the same thing with Sophia right back. As he's just blitzing through, you can see your just concussions getting thrown across the site. Here. Ooh. That's the first air jab going up. They do see someone is at uh, the bottom of red stairs, but it looks like everything's open anyways. It's going to be down to a 3v5 already. A minute down left on the clock. Kentucky's going to be opening up Cigar. Lixit does find the count to Cigar uh, on Casual Villain, and it's all going to be down to Visual and Legion holding down the fort from white stairs side. Going to be going cool. down. Going for the defuse as all Ooh. his teams is catching every single angle. Overlord are going to take down Starling as he tries to stop it. And as soon as Ooh. he comes up the staircase, Big Boy gets taken down by Overlord. That's a first round win for Kentucky. And it's going to be flawless at that. Ooh, what a nice shot. Yeah, that's going to be, I believe, the third flawless round out of out of these two maps so far for Kentucky. And then I feel like Kentucky's just absolutely playing superb today. Um, yeah, oh, they're even thinking about bringing out the Ying here from Bull Man. Yeah, they've been doing pretty good off of playing fast as... 
uh, Sonny Brooks having a little bit of a hard time trying to adjust to the fast play that they're bringing out here, as I don't think there was that much time, like, there was a lot of time left on the clock as they were doing everything. So, definitely, a Ying is an operator that could make a big difference here for them, as they just be able to just keep the pace going for themselves. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it looks like the Ying is actually going to be a debate. As it's going to be a thermite instead of the very different pace of operator. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think we they were expecting a, uh, a bit of a kitchen hold, and then seeing the lack of a castle and realizing they also won well, the previous round may have just opted to taking the thermite so they could get those objectives for themselves. Attackers yeah, to that's and completely true as well. Oh, we do see lots of roamers coming out. A roamer. Uh, based ops coming up from Stony Brook here. Uh, I'm talking about Jaeger, Mozzie, Vigil, maybe even Legion if you want to do a roaming Legion strat. I find, I, I've been liking those a little bit more recently. Yeah, definitely an interesting sight to see here as before time, I, if you look at the round before, Kentucky just absolutely dominated taking into Piano there, just immediately took down the Doc who was sitting behind the cigar shop and just pushed in super fast. So with the fast play like that, I'm curious to see what angles these uh, you know, more heavy roaming ops decide to take here, as I do believe they'll end up having to be forced to play more on site more than uh, in a heavy like first floor uh, roam that we see the Vigil already starting off to go here. But we'll see how it turns out as we already got Ixel just Ooh. opening up the front door of Bakery. Looks like he might actually get some action down here as he's just immediately just going up taking a bunch of objectives for himself. It looks like the vigil will be opting to walk up brown stairs, keeping himself Ooh. a little bit hidden from all of this. Oh my goodness, is this the red stairs this, rush? Look at this confidence coming up from Kentucky. This is probably one of the fastest first floor to third floor clears I've seen in a while. <laughs> They're just completely gunning it. All five of the teammates as well, just making sure that they get footholds, little air jabs as they're covering their backs. And it looks like not even a minute into the round where most teams aren't even off the roof, they're already on the top of red stairs without even opening the Yeah, and oh my goodness, some shots coming out from the hatch. Didn't even open, didn't even need to open as they just walked up the staircase. Gonna keep the breaches and the, uh, you know, all that soft breach for themselves to use for here now. As Ghost Wraith, gonna just be pushing up, taking oh. aggro. Takes down Atomic Nut without a blink of a hesitation there. Now he's just gonna be playing super fast, bringing the angle grip around those corners and taking down those tight angles. Oh, thick try boy. Prep comes Thick Boy, gets a shot onto Ixalit, hits the jabber as Ghost Ray taking down two of uh, Sony Brooks. Sight? Is that three? Ooh. That is a three now. Quad kill. We're gonna see another ace? Nope, oh, we will not, not as IQ ace. finishes it off. Wow, what a round. I feel like just Ghost Ray running in there. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what a shot. Oh my goodness, that's a sword right there. Yeah, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Just Ghost Ray absolutely being just fully confident in this team, covering his back. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to shoot, cover my back. And it just works out so beautifully for uh, Kentucky. Looks like we see another Kali sneak peek here, even though they can't really use him. Her. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. It looks like they're just going to keep playing fast here. As, oh, uh... they can't choose Kali. Ooh. Uh, they're gonna have to be forced to use a six pick off of it onto a jackal little little bait and switch there yeah and it looks like they'll be going jackal here kind of keeping up the fast pace as uh you know it's just looking at the speed that they're going out jackal's gonna cause a lot of uh intel go off as he's gonna be able to push onto the site see some or at least push around the site see some footprints yeah, scan it and then immediately be able to just ping out the location of where an anchor is standing and generally when you scan an anchor it's not really a great thing in jackal's eyes but because of the pace that they're playing at that's mm -hmm. actually probably one of the best case scenarios giving ghost Wraith that intel for when he goes just gunning in exactly where to look first jackal's definitely going to make quite a nice operator for the side of uh, kentucky right kentucky's been like really just playing around Giuseppe, and, and especially Ghost Wraith, droning him in, making sure his flank is covered with air jabs and ample amounts of, uh, of, of utility. And then including the Jackal just makes it so much easier for uh, for Ghost Wraith just to take sight, take power positions around sight, and it's just working out so well for Kentucky. I just, I can't really say anything else. Oh yeah, it looks like, ooh, Thick Boy. Actually figuring out where they entered from last time. I'm gonna hold it down here as he uses the in, the, the nice anti-intel that he brings. 
I wonder if the IQ might be able to see him if she does whip out her scanner. Doesn't look like she'll be scanning anything too much here. She's just going to focus on getting herself up first. Uh, and it looks like uh, Ghost Wraith's going to be able to... Not Ghost Wraith, sorry. Thick Boy going to be uh, able to just sit here un, you know, unaware of what's going on around him. And oh my goodness. Ooh, dainty, dainty Almond going to be in a little bit of a pickle here. As now Thick Boy deciding to uh, rotate back upstairs to start to help this uh, upper floor push that's coming in. Grenade okay. shot. Yeah, flashbang oh, is going flash. thrown down. It's going was... in anyways. Oh, looks like they have a really good idea of where Thick Boy is, given the amount of flashes and air jabs that they're using. Flush him out. Looks like he's still staying a little bit passive at the bottom here. Here, he's gonna definitely hear that thermite go off. The call's gonna get made. We'll probably see a little bit more patience from him. Uh, so wait until they kind of leave their guard down. Especially with that Nomad Air Jabber at the top. <laughs> the Maestro Cam just going wild shooting over the oh. place here. Oh, we'll see some shots whoa. down goes Dainty Almond. I don't think a single shot has been hit. Goes right this. Oh my goodness. Ixla takes down Atomic now. Overload taking out Casual oh, Vinny. Down goes Air Thick Jeff. Boy down to Ghost Wraith. And now we're just down to a 1v5 of Starling. He's sitting by himself inside washrooms here as he's gonna peek out onto white stairs and around trying to give himself a little bit more space. Oh, but we'll get immediately blasted. Another flawless round from Kentucky. Wow, what a round. You'll note that not a single bullet was landed onto anybody um, of Kentucky's side. That was the flawless of flawless round. <laughs> That's <laughs> right there, some textbook execution. You can Excellent. tell that they have definitely practiced over and kept things going, and you, that practice is definitely paying off here. 3 0 on attack on Cafe. Something that's usually not seen that often. All right, we're going to be going back into kitchen as third floor bar isn't really working the best for Stony Brook here. As kitchen also is a very, very good site on Cafe. Yeah, I've definitely seen some, a couple teams, you know, opt toward taking kitchen first. Just to kind of throw off the attack plan of the attackers. Generally, the operators you bring are the same for Kitchen, but there is the little minor hiccup of uh, whether or not you bring the Sledge. But it will be able to get covered up due to the fact of uh, the Jackal being brought out here with the Shotgun being his secondary. You're going to be able to get that same verticality onto the site if they just plan to take it, or if they just plan on going aggro and immediately rushing into site again. Right, for sure. Um, we do see a pretty standard setup coming out from Stony Brook, holding, locking down the entirety of Kitchen Prep. Um, no castle, no shenanigans, no rotate into a small bakery or big bakery or bottom red, I mean. They're just playing it the standard default way, holding it down, anchoring, and I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see Thick Boy um, on Roam again <clears throat> alongside Atomic Nut and Casual Villain. Here. Attackers are heading out to the oh yeah, and they've been, they've been uh, definitely trying to pull some stuff off here. Thick Boy just unfortunately not 100% in the right place at the right time where last time you saw, uh, or the round before when they ran up the red stairs, he wasn't the first floor to intercept, but unfortunately just couldn't be in the right spot at the right time and kind of missed the whole run up the staircase super quickly um, movement. But uh, definitely, hopefully, getting more, a better read on Kentucky here and be able to pull off a little bit more. It looks like he's going to be yeah opting to get the top floor control and use that. And it looks like uh, Kentucky going to be also opting to take the exact same thing and might be see a little bit of action here early on. Okay, we see a fast drop. Already just Ghost Wraith booking it across the entire site. Oh, he's gonna run into Thick Boy soon. Oh, does oh get the goodness. first shot off, but Ghost Wraith turns around and finds the head of Thick Boy even before Thick Boy can land a single shot onto him. Ghost Wraith is just untouchable. He's just phasing through all the bullets here. As you can see here, just absolute dominance and power as he goes through. Ixala just throwing some shots on the wall, seeing if he can catch anyone. Doesn't, unfortunately, and my goodness, the push. We see a lot of teams end up taking a lot of time to be able to take Cafe. Minute 40, they already have top floor and middle floor Ooh. control. Just by getting some people to drone and just the others just immediately running into those areas and keeping the no. control. Down goes Dainty Almond from Ghost Wraith. Game a headshot. This man's on a tear. Round three, he's already at 10 kills. Wow. That is actually insane. Oh, the IQ does see. It's a triple uh, kill. That's a triple kill coming up from Ghost Wraith. 
going on an oh. absolute rampage. <gasps> Does get taken down by Atomic Nut. However, no one can beat the Jaeger's gun on that oh, yeah. <laughs> 1v1 there. And it's going to be down to 2v4. Their star player going down. One minute left on the clock. Kentucky slowing things down just a little bit. Yeah, except at this point, too. Goes, uh, Atomic Nut trying to go for a flank. While at this point, Kentucky going to be opting oh, Sigmar no. side control. As you see, they take down Casual Villain here. And down he goes as he tries to rotate as well. Unfortunately, at the time that he was going for the flank around them, uh, Kentucky just opted to go heavy on site and just put all their manpower on it. Ended up taking down the only person on site, and after that was just free site for them, and it did not really pay off too much for Stony Brook. And at this point, 4-0 lead for Kentucky. Wow, what an absolute dominant play showing from Kentucky, winning their 11th round in a row across two maps. Stony Brook still has yet to take a single round. Yeah, Ooh, definitely things aren't looking too hot for Stony Brook, but definitely never. It's not over till it's over. It's you never over. <laughs> you see a line coming out. Oh my goodness! Round four, eleven kills. That's that's honestly insane. It's actually insane. I could only dream of being in this position. <laughs> like I'm actually curious. I'm gonna do the math on this side and see. Eleven kills divided by four. That's about. This man has been averaging 2. about two point seven five per round yeah. or kills per round. That's that is absolutely insane. <laughs> Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as yeah, they can. Yeah, actually though, what an insane player, what an insane roamer, an insane entry fragger at, at that. Just making, just an insane amount of game sense as well, just knowing exactly when to run, where to look. Yeah, it's definitely. almost like, yeah, it's just, but... <laughs> his, his teammates are doing a great job of draining him out as well, for sure. If you look at the last map too, you can see like, just the use of sound as well peeking out as he hears both of them get on their drones and taking two of them down just doing really well this game overall yeah. oh we do see the the deployment shield uh coming out from atomic nut here into onto this corner uh white white stairs corner makes it a little harder for kentucky to take control of piano as it can be holding oh. down that corner there's four people in in that piano room at the moment there i'm not sure if they're gonna stick mm. to it or they're gonna start running away oh that's like yeah Two of them already found out. Some utility there. <laughs> For a second, I thought they were just gonna have like an old man hold in piano and just stop anything from happening on the windows. It looks like uh, Atomic Nuts gonna be sitting here behind the deployment shield and use that to kind of stop the push coming in from the windows and keep them a little bit more space to play with. Ghost Ghost. Race, patiently waiting <laughs> for, Doing for the hatch squats. to be open. Oh yeah. <laughs> You gotta get, gotta them, get them legs nice pump. and warm while you're uh, while you're up there. You know, you can't say too can't get too stiff. Oh yeah, Lion E1D coming out. Oh, he's not gonna take this opportunity to drop yet. Yeah, looks like he's still trying to figure out which one he should drop. Kind of playing any mini mini mode. Gonna be peeking off these angles, see if he can catch anything here. Excellent, of course, putting down those air jabbers, kind of covering the flanks. As Thick Boy definitely gonna be trying to look to take them if he can. Playing from trains, it looks like the drop will be coming in. Checking for any uh, mozzie spiders, any cameras from Valkyrie. Ooh. We'll see any and. We'll start there pushing is a up. yokai there, if I remember. Oh, he does find yeah. a yokai concussed just to get it out of there. Oh, but does get taken down. That's going to be piano wall open as we find the first kill of the map coming up from Giuseppe onto Dainty Alman. They do see the deployment shield with an echo behind it. They're not going to push it just yet. It, For... it, looks, it looks like they're going to oh, have to burn no. the <laughs> The flash comes out with the team flash. Got to slow things down for just another two seconds or so. This buys time for Atomic Nut to actually get out of that spot, which is actually a godsend for him. Oh, oh my doesn't goodness. find the shot out to Ghost Wraith as he instead gets headshotted. Oh, Ghost Wraith is just running it down. This man is like a train. He just not stop for anything. He will keep oh. going. Get down goes another. Gonna pre part of the corner. See if he was there. Not oh, finding one lion on the other side of the site. Inside Freezer is the last one from Maestro, but he will get taken down from several angles as Ghost Wraith finish him off with the pistol. This man's actually just a train. He, the second he starts going, he will not stop until he finds uh, all the heads of Stony Brook or dies trying. Wow. What an... I, I feel like I'm on the broken record here. I'm a broken record. I've just been saying the same, like, two things over again, over and over again. Just like, oh my god, Ghost Wraith, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just absolutely just showing off his gunplay it's absolutely amazing oh no and here comes the f2 the f2 oh i don't i don't even think jaeger's gun can handle this now oh yes 
before he was bringing Zofia's gun, a gun, a lot of beggars love (laughs) bringing. You know what? In times of need, break the glass, bust out the chichanka, do something unpredictable, and see what. Never mind, bust out the six big glass, put something unpredictable. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, yes, the good old tachanka. Oh, Oh, wait, no, I've been baited. Bait and bait. It's not the bait and switch. It's the bait and bait. Oh, no, never okay, mind. They, they're really system. trying to make me think they're busting out the glass here of the, the secret strats off wow. the Chanka. You know, we, we were the ones that say, got baited. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people usually say, like, you know, uh, Tachanka is probably one of the weakest hoppers on defense, but, you know, that's not to say he's not strong himself. That shield can, even though not the most reliable, still definitely could pull off quite a nice bit of strats and. You can see people like I think last was it last week that we had GMU play with uh, the chunk on bat on bank just completely hold off uh, stop. I think that was last week. Feels like it. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be the last attack round for Kentucky here. Um, hopefully, Stony Brook can bring things back and make at least make it a one five um, for the first half instead of a zero six again. But it looks like... Uh, oh, oh wait, my god. Is that the 417? Has... Yeah, it's the 417 it's iron the sights. 417 iron sights. Wait, oh, no. is that suppressor it's... too? No, no, that's the Zofia's again. No, 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 I mean on the iron oh. sights of the 417 there. On the 417? Oh, that is a suppressor. Oh, no, they'll never hear coming. <laughs> and Overlord never being hear the, the LMG. Wait. A gun that you don't see too many people take is the assault rifle is just really, really good. And Every not gun to say that we... the LMG is bad, but it's just the other gun is just so good. Every gun that we've seen so far from Kentucky's side has been suppressed. Oh yes, you, I you can't let everyone's... them know where they're where coming from. All because if you so think powerful. about it, oh my oh, goodness, he's already in. He's, he's already in. He jumped down skylight. There's no way he That's didn't do it. That's a revolver. Oh, he does get the spot. <clears throat> Barely sees the feet, but no, really I don't think he's gonna be able to like, find it. Her elbow was all weird no. as he peeks in and takes down a double kill without getting hit yet from an onto atomic nut ghost wraith. Just using that 417, opening up the hatches due to the new destructibility. Can it be showing off why this gun is great with that iron sights there? I mean, peeking off of the balcony, see if you can get any shots. Doesn't look like Ooh, air jab going on. And yeah, air jab gonna be cutting off that flank. And now at this point, Jaeger in the fight of his life, thick boy, taking a lot of damage as he runs across the room. This 417 is even better just because it has black ice on it. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly like at plus 10 to damage. And plus oh, no. peeking. oh my goodness! He's oh, just no. getting blasted! Wait, he's he's docked! He's self-healed! The Regnum oh, no. comes out! Oh no! That's not legal! Oh, he oh, does he finally get punished by Thick Boy underneath dining area. But it's all gonna be down to Thick Boy now. And now it's Ixalit's turn, the double kill from Nomad. No. Thick Boy just panicking and will get taken out from Overlord as he just runs in. Unfortunately. <laughs> and yeah, Tom will go here. Stony Brook here. <laughs> Opting to go for the head up and spin around tactic instead of holding the angle. Yeah, you, That's know, you be never the last expect round the. On the tech. Never, yeah. You never expect them. Like, if you think about it, it's one bullet to the head kills, right? So That's if true. I just keep firing in all directions, one of those bullets are bound to hit someone's head. That that, you're a genius. Maybe you yeah. figured it out. So if maybe, you just like maybe we take it up a take it up a notch, play Monty as as casual villain is doing, and if you spin fast <laughs> enough, maybe you'll parry all the bullets. Three sixty protection. <laughs> Three sixty <laughs> protection with a spin bot. Walk into sight, and then you'll be the best Monty there is known to man. Like, my, oh, looks like we're seeing the Monty and the Fuse. Going to be interesting to see what uh, Fuse is going to be able to pull off here, as it is third floor here. And at this point, it is match Fuse point. The so, <laughs> at this point, if uh, Sonny Brook, uh, Brook's B team wants to pull something off here, they're going to have to just go flawless and win six rounds straight onto the side that of attack. Be and quite a tall order, but definitely not one that's impossible. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, definitely Stony Brook is going to have to bring it back on attack. Um, we do see a lot of good ops coming out. Monty being known for, uh, being able to secure the really good power positions in the, uh, piano without, w- without a hitch. Um, Fuse might be a little bit interesting. Um, however, his LMG is a very, very powerful one at that. Um, and Atomic Nut on Blackbeard 
definitely we all know why Blackbeard is really good in taking those one-on-one -on -one engagement scenarios where it catches the defender off guard and you're able to just get a free kill that way. Oh yeah, <laughs> three minutes on the clock. Will they be able to make it here? As this attack is going to be a little bit difficult, but definitely not impossible here. As you never know, they might pull out some really hidden strats here. You see Monty already wary of the windows being open. However, they were open, so the Valkyrie get some nice footage. And Ghost Wraith actually sitting outside Bakery there. That's actually a really powerful position to be holding. Because if any of them go for the Repel, as you can see here, he could just run out of that Bakery door and just start immediately gunning. Looks like that might get a little bit of intelligence, though. Knowing that one of the cameras have died. Ghost Wraith going to go for the run out. Take down Starling off the bat. No more Ash for them at this point. Uh, the, the number one frag operator taken down. Overlord going to take down Dainty Almond as he's going to be peeking out and unfortunate for them. As Dow down to three attackers left, two minutes left on the clock. Kentucky looking beautiful right now. Absolutely. Giuseppe holding down White Stairs. Oh my that, goodness. Oh, another run out coming up from Ghost Wraith. From the second floor reading door side, finding a Tonic Nut. It's all going to be down to Casual Villain, who is monteing it out on, on a... Oh my god, C4 does come out. Oh, oh he's gonna no. get down from Casual Villain as Ghost Wraith, Ghost Wraith finds the last kill onto Thick Boy with the headshot. Oh, look at that C4. We get to watch it again. <laughs> he goes down and out immediately. That's gonna be a 0 7 0 7 flawless victory. Both maps for Kentucky as a win against Stony Brook University's B team. My goodness, just really dominant play from Kentucky all around. You can see why they uh, gave themselves a kills. name. Dude, Ghost Wraith oh, last God. map was 20 and 2. This map he's 19 and 2. This man is just There's really no out, playing out of his mind. Actually playing out of his mind. It's um, hopefully hopefully we get Ghost Wraith for an interview. Uh, but we'll definitely be um, we'll definitely have an interview coming from the side of Kentucky as we can really just see into the minds of some of their players. But wow, actually though, what a what an insane match today. Um, just showing the absolute dominance of uh, University of Kentucky A-team here. My goodness. And it looks like we'll be setting up our nice little interview here as we get actually Ghost Wraith to be able to uh, come out here. The man who's just been popping off all around. And <laughs> really just playing so dominant. My goodness, this this was a very interesting match tonight. Yeah, especially with um towards the end of the game there, it really just came out to be just, oh, looks like we can just win uh, and be super conf confident on taking our gunfights. Um, we can just support our entry fraggers, and that's what, exactly what Kentucky did. I feel like they did a great job at doing that. Oh, and it looks like we have Ghost Wraith from University of Kentucky here. Joining us for our interview. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, doing good. How are you guys? Doing really, really good. Doing really good after that one. Yeah, wow. I, I don't think I've seen a back-to-back -back ace come out ever. And and I, I've i I've seen a lot of invite. I've played in a lot of invite and open league. And I don't think I've ever seen that. Wow. How do you just, how do you feel just doing that? I mean, I've never seen it or done it myself. So pretty, pretty freaking good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, that's actually insane. Um, how do you feel uh, going into this? Um, how did you and your team, I, I suppose, um, feel going into this game against Donny Brook? Uh, we felt pretty good. We just kind of, we always have like our routines through the day when we have it's a game day, and we mm -hmm. went through it. You know, just trying to keep calm, level head. Okay, nice. Uh, Kelda, yeah. you, you got one, right? Sorry. Yeah, on that, oh. uh, just after the first stage, you after that on attack, just played super aggressively, just running in. You just have at that point, were you just trying to like, you know, see if they could handle the aggression, or do you just really feel the momentum off the previous round? And wanted to see what would happen. Um, I kind of wanted to die. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! Like that feels like I'm talking trash, but like I guess it is. I guess, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> we really we understand. Trash. I just, I just wanted to see, like, hmm, like, what could I do? <laughs> it's been a minute. You gotta, you gotta test the brakes, you know, see, see how far you can go without uh, being stopped. Yeah, yeah you gotta go it, all it was... gas at a certain point. <laughs> and would yeah, you say that, like, that one attack round, like, kind of influenced the second map? Because you can even see there, you guys were just 
super aggressive on attack. Just like the second you jumped down the hatch, I swear to God, you didn't stop. Yeah, uh, there was one point I remember on the first round of defense, not defense attack on cafe, where we knew this doc was in cigar, and they're like, hey, he's, he's looking at the drone. You could just drop. And I was like, all right, you want me to fry him? And the IG, I was like, yeah, we'll go fry him. I was like, okay, I'm going. <laughs> and I, I literally just like hit that shift, shift W and just ran. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, we I, definitely I got to see that a lot. Yeah, it was just a blind rage at that point. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> a blind rage on Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Generally one of the most uh, tactical maps out there because it's just so hard to take on attack. Just turned into just a complete fragger map in the end. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was a match. Yeah. Are there um, any other teammates uh, or teammate particularly that comes up to mind that you want to give a, a nice shout out to? Uh, not really just a teammate. I'd say the entire team played really good tonight, actually. I think we had two people not die a single time, maybe one. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we commented on that in, in Clubhouse as well. There was a moment, I believe it was like four or five rounds into the game where three people, um, including you, including... Um, had zero deaths, and it was just actually insane. Yeah, I feel our entire team played really well. Our calls are much better than they've ever played. Never played? Ever been? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm better with the Siege than I am the English. Oh, don't worry, I'm the same. Yeah, no, me too. Uh, English is not my native language. <laughs> English is my native language, and I'm still bad at it. Oh, God. <laughs> R6 maybe makes you bad at English? Who knows? Stay tuned for more. <laughs> <laughs> all right well once again super big congratulations on taking this win it's especially a really really juicy round differential going into um coming out of group stages soon um so yeah once again big big congratulations for that man yeah thank you yeah and uh for everyone who's still tuned um still tuned in uh once again we'd like to thank our sponsors for making everything possible rogue energy uh Make sure to use code CA at checkout for a good 10% discount. Um, it helps support us and support them as well. Um, Corsair, as well as What's New, being absolutely fantastic sponsors, making everything possible. Um, so yeah, thanks for thanks for coming out for this interview. Uh, thanks for Kelda for being such a great co-host. I love co uh, I love uh, casting with you, man. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. I think that will wrap it up for for us. Make sure uh, you can catch our next games on all of our social media, um, on our Discord channel as well as our Twitter. Um, and so we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Woo. Just pull me away, pull me away